Sup, Virgo? Let's get started on a read for you real quick. Um, Let's see what's going on. Virgo, I hope you're doing well. Let's see. Let's get some numerology for you. Numerology for Virgo spirit for the highest good. Let's see. Okay, so you have follow your dreams here. And you have financial discipline underneath the deck. And then you have environment, happy ending. I feel like you're... um. You're following your dreams, but you could be overspending with financial discipline here. You may need to cut back on spending, something like that. I'm getting protections or something about angels here. I feel your angels want you to know something about financial discipline, something about your spending here. I feel like you're following your dreams. I'm getting they want you to follow your dreams, but it's almost like cut back maybe on spending so much. Something about pride here. I feel like you don't care, something like that. <laughs> I feel like you don't care what you're spending or creativity. I feel like you're doing something creatively. You could be spending for Halloween. You could be doing something for Halloween. You could be purchasing um, something here surrounding the, the environment. You could be um, purchasing decorations. This could be for a party. I'm getting, if you wanna have that Halloween party, go ahead. I'm getting get creative with it. Maybe like without spending so much, something about a party or a dream, something about a setup. I'm getting like a setup here. You're trying to set something up. Let's see. I'm also getting expansion. I see expansion here. I feel someone could have a lot of pride. This could be you or someone else. But I do see a happy ending with whatever it is. I'm getting pride before the fall. Let's see. Let's get some oracles. So you have miracles. I see something happening. Like I'm getting it's going to happen. I'm getting something will be, something about a miracle. I'm getting do believe in miracles. I'm also getting something about peace. I see you examining or you're reflecting some type of miracle. This could be a blessing of some sort. Something surrounding your dreams. I see you reflecting. Do know that there will be a happy ending. I'm also getting compassion. Have some compassion with yourself. I see like a breakthrough here. Like I thought, yeah. <laughs> you have the dismembering energy. I feel something has been dismembered or you've cut someone off here. You could be reflecting on this. Um, I'm also getting grace. You're carrying something out with grace. I see you being very graceful or people may view you to be this way or you're viewing someone to be, to be this way. Maybe when it comes to you, yet you tradition. So this could be someone in your family. I feel like you're... Um, I see like some type of repair. Something about a repair. I'm getting this is going to be a miracle. This could be something within your family. Yeah, passion. I'm getting compassion here or a higher perception. I see you viewing something differently or from a different space, a different environment. I'm getting have some passion with what you're doing. I'm getting put some passion into it. Yeah, transformation. So this could be a change of some sort. So if you're trying to change something, if you're trying to do something specifically, I'm getting do it. I feel you have the passion for it. This could be something very traditional. For many of you, this could be a, um, a party. Like I'm picking up on a party here. Something like that. Or this could be a family event. Yeah, you have silence here. I see. I feel you could be going somewhere. I see you giving yourself like a lot of love <laughs> or something surrounding a pet or an animal. I see you loving on an animal or something's changing surrounding an, um, an animal. I see. Yeah, clarity. So something surrounding an animal is changing. I feel you could have a pet. 
something to do with your pet here, or if you don't have a pet, this could be someone else's pet. Something is going on with someone else's pet. You may know who this person is. I'm also getting king energy or an elder or something surrounding a Libra here or the justice system. You could be wondering if the justice system, uh, if they're going to be loyal to you or if something's going to go in your favor. I do see it going in your favor. So have some compassion for yourself. Yeah, resurrection. I see something being brought up from the past or something being uh, revisited. Yeah, blueprint. Something about a blueprint here or um, guidelines. You might want to reread, someone may want to reread the guidelines or someone's going over um, some type of guidelines or something to act. You have act here. I'm definitely getting something to do with the uh, justice system. So this could be a form of, um, this could be a law. I'm getting some type of law here. There could be some type of law changing, something about a law is changing here. Some, something about guidelines is changing. Some type of guidelines will be changed. Let's see. Yes, yeah, solitude. Could be dealing with a Virgo. This is you, Virgo, or this is someone else you're dealing with. You have celebration here. Then you have silence. Nature. I thought they said nurture. <laughs> Another nurture card. I'm definitely getting a taken care of type of energy. I feel like you're being taken care of or you're being compensated. Something about your essence here or your community, something about the people around you, your surroundings. I feel the people around you could like your essence. I'm also getting something about a Scorpio here. I feel a Scorpio, um, they want you to trust them or they want you to believe in them, something like that. Or they want you to pay attention to something. I yeah. So I feel you could have someone that you're leaning on, or a companion, or it's like someone else that you know. Take it how it resonates, Virgo. I feel like you have someone that you know here that's providing you some type of justice. Someone in your environment, someone that you're comfortable with. Yeah, you have sing here. So you could be dealing with an uh with an uh a songstress, a singer. Could be dealing with someone um in the music industry. This person could sing. I'm also getting yeah, you have I love you here, future love. You have transcend. So something's changing. I see you writing a, a future love letter to yourself. I see you you loving more on yourself. Or this is what someone wants you to do. I feel this is a companion or someone that you know. Or someone that's in your environment. Or this is an angel. I'm getting the angels. They see you changing. Something about a silent retreat. Or silence. Your solitude here. I feel your solitude speaks volumes to someone. You have confirmation here. Then you have create. Solo magic. Look up. Initiation. Yeah, I see you doing a lot of shit on your lonely. <laughs> That's the Virgo way, the Virgo thing to do. I see you doing something in secret. Um, I feel like you could be doing, doing it with someone. I feel like you could have a companion here or someone that you're leaning on. Could be a Libra. Someone's providing you justice here. I'm getting very fruitful energy. Something about sexuality. Someone's changing sexually. Something about a sexual encounter here as well. I'm also getting accountability. Someone wants to wants to take accountability here. I feel like someone wants to be in a relationship with you. Someone has eyes for you or something like that. This could be a friend or something like that. I'm getting like a, never mind. Yeah, the sun card. Actually, I, <laughs> I'm getting like a, like someone's venting to someone here, but it's like whoever they're venting to, that person is falling in love with them. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. The sun card could be a Leo. I see. be 
a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or a Leo. You have the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands. I see you walking away. I feel like you're you're just going to up and leave. It could be for your happiness or for your expansion. I feel like you've had enough or you're kind of fed up. I see you pouring something out or something over. Filling, I see something running over. I, I feel like you're not paying you're not paying attention to something. Something is running over. I'm getting like a lot of something, some type of liquid. Something is overflowing. Yeah, the two of cups. So something's overflowing here. I feel like you're not seeing it though. Whatever this may be. Take it how it resonates, Virgo. Something is overflowing. You're not seeing. Yeah, the magician. The two of cups, the magician here. I feel like could be dealing with your children here this could have something uh something to do surrounding the bathtub <laughs> someone could be overflowing the uh the tub or the toilet or the sink something's being stirred up here that's what i'm getting um what is the magician in the six of cups so this could be something of the past yeah the knight of cups i see a love offer here this could be someone of the past. They're orchestrating something. Could be a Leo. I feel this person has eyes for you or something's over. Yeah, the Hermit card could be a Virgo. You could have ghosted this person. I'm getting someone has eyes for you, but they can't see you. <laughs> I'm getting like someone wants to see you. They have like some type of googly eyes or something about a mask. This could be a face mask for Halloween. Someone could be purchasing one or someone could be dressing up. I see someone orchestrating something here surrounding. Um, <laughs> someone could be dressing up as a witch or someone's manifesting some type of costume or I'm getting something about a punch, like um, like a punch bowl, something to do with a punch bowl, some type of drink or um, I, I'm also seeing bobbing for apples. Someone's bobbing for apples here or something about apple cider. Or is this apple cider vinegar? I'm getting some some type of um someone's ingesting something here. Let's see. Yeah, the eight of wands, the empress. I see some type of communication coming in. Um I feel this could be to you. I see someone communicating with you, Virgo, here. Um, you could be a mother figure. Someone's going to reach out to you. I feel they want to communicate with you or have a meeting. This could be um, some type of meeting within the school, Six of Cups, within some type of um, surrounding your children, something surrounding your children here. I'm also getting something about a boys and girls club. Yeah, the Emperor card. There's some type of manipulation surrounding something to do with the boys and girls club or something to do with um, the children. I feel this could be an emperor. This could be a father figure or someone who's in, um, they have some type of authority over some type of children. Yeah, the five of cups. This person's regretting what they did. I, I feel like someone, they tried to control a situation here. I feel they regret what they did. It's a father figure for many of you. The emperor could be an Aries or Sagittarius. I also see you leaving this person out in the cold. You have two fives here. I feel like someone regrets um, something that they've done. You have the six of pentacles. So I see someone exchanging, or this is you. Someone wants to exchange with you, but you've left this person out in the cold. I feel they're very adamant about exchanging with you, Virgo. Whoever this may be, you may be wondering. The ace of cups, I feel this could be anybody. <laughs> this could be up to like six people. For many of you, yeah, the three of pentacles up to like three to six people. I feel this could be friends or someone that you're working with or cooperating with. Yeah, the ace of swords, the five of swords, the chariot. I feel like someone tried to win at all costs and they had to be left out in the cold. It's a cancer. This cancer, they're very hateful. Someone hates hearing the truth. It's a cancer. I'm also getting something about a car, some type of intel surrounding a car, some type of hate. Someone could have hit your car. Someone, Someone's car could have gotten hit. 
I'm getting like a um, side swipe or someone's mirror got knocked off. Ace of Swords, some type of reflection here. Something to do with the mirrors in your car. Could be foggy. There could be fog. Something about fog here. Or in like some type of inability to see. Yeah, the star card. Could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Or this is you. I feel you could be in the um, public eye. You could be a celebrity. You could be someone of, someone of influence. You could be someone here who uh, holds some type of power or light. Or this is you simply studying astrology. I feel like you're doing something with astrology here. Or you're doing something surrounding healing. I feel like you're trying to heal at this time. You're the Four of Cups. I see you trying to heal some type of discontentment. <laughs> I'm also getting... Something about your cups here. I feel like you're making sure your cup is full or I feel like an Aquarius is very discontent at this time or you're discontent with this person. Someone could be sad. Someone just could be sad at this time. Could be an Aquarius. What is this? What is the star and the four of cups? You're the page of wands and you have the four of I'm sorry, the Page of Wands, and what was that? The Page of Cups? Page of Wands, Page of Cups. You have, I'm getting lies. Something about lies here. Someone's really thinking about their lies. Could be an Aquarius. <laughs> or something that they've done, or some, something about propaganda. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. So some type of compulsive energy. Five of Wands, Two of Swords, so conflict here. Chaos, conflict, confusion. What I'm really getting Y'all, from all of this, you, you have something that you're doing, something surrounding your dreams, or you have a dream for many of you. And there's someone here. They're very, very slick or crafty in what they're doing. They're very, very crafty. I'm getting lies, something about the lies. Mm. Something about the lies. Is this someone that you're depending on or someone that you show compassion to? I see you being happy with walking away from a situation. This Aries. I see you being happy with walking away from a situation. This Aries, whoever this person is, I feel like you're happy to see someone go or you're happy to walk away from someone. Or I feel like someone's very compulsive around you and you may not like this or something like that. I feel like you're walking away for happy. I feel like you're happy you're leaving. Something like I'm happy I'm leaving. That's what I'm getting. I'm happy I'm leaving. I don't know who's saying this. This could be you or someone else. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, the High Priestess. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Something that you know about an Aquarius or some type of deception, some type of secret deception. Something that you're watching. Something that you watched. You watched some type of deception play out. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, Truth and Justice. Something could have you in your head, Virgo. Um, something here. Something you're thinking about. I feel like um, someone could be in their head about you as far as some type of deception goes. What is that? Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Look at there. I feel this person is worrying. Yeah, Libra. You have the Nine of Cups, Three of Swords. A Libra is worrying about some type of deception. Or this is something to do with the justice system, some type of legalities here. I feel like someone's going to get their wish for wish fulfillment and then someone's going to be hurt. I'm getting like, you know how um, like the court shows, like the end of a court show, you see 
like the two people talking and they're like breaking it down or giving their piece or saying how they feel, whatever. That's what I'm getting. Like, I feel like it's like a um, some type of court situation here. And I, I see like two sides, two sides of an argument. I'm getting someone's more so hurt and then someone's more so smug. Someone's more so satisfied. You have the six of swords, page of swords. Something about spiritual guides here. I see spiritual guides spying or getting information. Or someone's trying to spy and get information, they're being blocked. They're not going to be able to get any more information about you or about your victory or about your work. Whatever the case may be. I feel like someone's getting conflicted messages as well. This could be someone that wants to um, be in a relationship with you. Move on to calmer waters with you. Heal with you. The Ace of Pentacles could be a Pisces. Yeah, the lovers and the nine of pentacles. Someone used you to be very beautiful. Could be Pisces. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Whoever this person is, I feel you could view them to be... Um, your wish fulfillment, almost. I'm getting this as your just... Yeah, it's a Pisces. I feel this person being your wish fulfillment. Or this person has a desire to know if you feel this way about them. I'm getting like a dick to cry on becomes like a dick to ride on or some some shit like that. Like someone's venting to someone. Yeah, the lover's card. See there? Something about pleasure or joy. Yeah, the judgment card. Could be a Gemini here. This person could be judging you because of because of some type of separation or because you're holding back from this person. What is this? So this person could have a desire to know. Someone's spying secretly. Could be a Gemini. They're passing judgment on why you're holding back from them. Someone's very confused. Someone's confused over their own choices though. I feel like someone's worried about you or they're passing judgment on you. They're confused about their own choices. Rather, it's like, huh? It's a Gemini? Yeah, the death card. Could be a Scorpio. Someone has a beautiful face. I'm getting gorgeous face. And a very, very funny laugh. Something like that here. I feel like someone's watching you or viewing you. Something about wicked here or fake. <laughs> someone, someone could know that they're wicked, know that they're fake. I'm getting this person has been confounded. Or you've been saved from this person or this enemy. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups. You have the Four of Wands. I'm getting some type of karma here. Something is karmic. It's surrounding a group. This could be people you're closely knitted to, actually. Three of Cups energy could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Four of Wands. This could be someone you were in a relationship with. Something surrounding a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio is karmic. I feel that's something you need to know. What is this? I'm also getting something about rectification. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. So I feel like rectification of a relationship, that's your karma. Your karma is going to be to be in a relationship, to be love. I feel you deserve love. Love is your justice or your birthright. Everyone deserves to be loved here. Knight of Wands energy. Something about a reckless ass Scorpio. Or Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Something here. About karmic people, karmic individuals. What is this? Yeah, the Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands. Some type of action that these people have taken. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Someone tried to um cause endings to your blessing here. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Wands. But I feel like there's humiliation here surrounding these people or this group because your blessing cannot be taken. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be ended. Ten of Wands energy. Eight of Pentacles. It's your birthright to work. Nine of Pentacles. And to be independent and beautiful. Someone could be wondering why you're so beautiful. It's your birthright to be beautiful. The fuck? I'm also getting you're very practical. And someone doesn't like how practical you are. Sounds like a problem of theirs, not yours. 
Yeah, the two of wands. Sounds like a problem of theirs, not yours. Something about um, moving in a direction of love and wisdom. I'm also getting help. Someone may need your help. Someone tried to cause endings to you and now they need your help. Wow. Yeah, the nine of wands. Someone's in the nine of wands. Someone, I'm getting they're going through conflict or they're, they're going through this in secret. You may not even know about this. What is this? You're the Knight of Pentacles, the Strength card. <laughs> Someone's very praiseworthy over your strength, over your ability to bounce back, over your skill. Could be a Leo. Leo could be praising you. A Leo could feel very challenged by you. That's what I'm getting. You're the Ten of Pentacles. This could be family. You're the king of wands and you have the page of cups. I see this person making you an offer. Something about a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. I feel like they want to make you an offer. They want to end some type of illusion surrounding you. I feel you're very committed to this person. King of swords energy. King of wands and king of swords. This could be a, um, an individual. This could be a father figure with the emperor card. Or this could be a lawyer or someone um, of authority. Someone that you're going to for some type of assistance or or someone you're leaning on. I feel someone could have compassion for you in a situation. You could be wondering if a lawyer has compassion for you or if they're on your side. I do see this. Let's see. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Something about teaching here mm -hmm. or intellectual talent. I feel like someone wants to provide you some type of knowledge or speak to you. Could be a lawyer. Let's see. Yeah, the Four of Swords. Someone finds this to be a mission. Yeah, the King of Swords could be a lawyer, or this is someone who's highly intelligent. King of Swords energy, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Someone finds you to be a blessing or very lovely. I'm getting lovely. <laughs> I'm hearing that song, Sweet Lady. <laughs> Virgo, somebody finds you to be their sweet lady or somebody, man, you a masculine. They find you to be real sweet and nice to them or beautiful. Something about your energy or your victory is very beautiful to someone or your longevity in being victorious. Whoever you may be out here, Queen of Pentacles energy, King of Cups. You take very good care of yourself, whoever you are. Maybe emotionally here. Mm -hmm. Or something surrounding a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You know, some type of foolish action here. I see this person taking a risk. Someone wants to speak to you or reach out to you. I feel this person wants to heal something with you. Yeah, the Ten of Swords reverse. So I want to come out of this pain or come out of some type of ending. Three of uh, Cups here. I see some type of reconciliation of some sort, Virgo, for many of you. With the Hierophant, this could be with the Taurus. You could be using higher intelligence when it comes to a Taurus. This person doesn't want to cause you any pain. <laughs> this is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. Let's see here. Um... <clears throat> What should we get? Let's get some of these. Let's see. You could be thinking like someone wants to hurt you. I'm getting they don't. That's not their intent. I feel it's someone else's intent. It's a third party's intention. It's not your intention. Could be a fake, fake motherfucker's intention. Something like that. Hmm. Let's see here. be a cancer or a scorpio who feels challenged i'm also seeing you providing some type of universal medicine when it comes to these people or this group it's like it's a group or something this could even be something surrounding an uber a lift did i mention that a car a vehicle something about total someone's vehicle could be totaled you could get in someone's car and their car stinks summer watchtower of the south Someone got the continental dusty summer, something about a refresher here. I'm also getting um, the summertime could be very significant for you or the south. <laughs> I feel like very beautiful arrangements, something about flowers here or something about your surroundings or your home. Very beautiful home. Let's see.
Yeah, intention. And then you have uh, remembrance. Someone had some type of intention when it comes to you. Yes, yeah, cycles. Could be a group. Initiation, incubation, yeah. Someone was trying, I'm hearing someone was trying to start some shit. Yeah. But I feel that's dead. I'm getting their intention is dead. I'm getting they can no longer have this intention when it comes to you. It's almost like if they continue to have this intention, they're only fucking themselves up. If they carry out with this, in, with this intention or with this mission, they're only fucking themselves up. Check it how it resonates. What is this? Yes, yeah, staff stability. Then you have shadow here. <laughs> Something about stability, money, heavy emphasis on money. Someone was, their intention was, I'm getting someone, it was for the money. They were doing it for the money. Someone needed money. They did this for money. It's weird as fuck. That's sad. You say money is the root of all evil. That's what they say. Oh shit, spring in the reverse. Yeah, so something is definitely not fresh. Something could be dead as well or something. Someone. Someone's dead. Something cannot be fixed with this person. Or this group. I feel like it's a third party group. Yes, yeah, Shadow. You have scrying mirror, something about reflecting. Mm -hmm. Something cannot be fixed or I'm getting something has to be mirrored back to someone first before something can be fixed. Let's see. Let's get one more. So you have awakening, homecoming and responsibility. You know, something about a ritual. Someone, they did something uh, ritualistic. Someone could have did sorcery. Some type of sorcery here. High priest on a high priestess. Wow. Someone tried to do a ritual on a high priest or a high priestess. That's horrible. I feel like you've awoken to this. This is something you awoke to. Something about home homecoming here. Yeah. Dedication. Something about a homecoming here. I'm getting these people were dedicated to doing this ritual. They're also containing this information, but it's intensifying. That's why I say it's like they can't even really follow out, follow through with the mission, the magic. They can't continue the magic. They could be t deteriorating because of the magic. Spring in the reverse. Someone needs a refresher. All that magic they was doing or their intention had, someone's intentions has brought them down. Someone's intentions has been reflected to them. Something surrounding magic. Yeah, winter. I'm also getting something about security or your home. I see you securing your home. Maybe from these people. You're protecting yourself from these people. Could be a Libra. Could be a Libra losing their fucking mind surrounding a Scorpio. Yeah, I feel this person needs to cleanse their energy. Yeah, most definitely with the spell card. This person could be doing spells. Definitely a Libra. Heavy Libra energy. This person feels that they have some type of power here, but they're only powerful with a group. Something about group. Someone has to stand with the group, something like that. <laughs> yeah, there could be a Libra feeding someone bullshit. That's what I'm getting. Let's see here. Um, Should we get more? What should we do? What should we do next, Virgo? Because I'm trying to give you all the tea and all the information. What's brewing? There could be a Libra fee and somebody some information about you. Some bullshit. I feel this person needs to really check themselves or refresh themselves. Someone could be talking mad shit about you. And it's like, whole time. Huh? Or they need some type of refresher. That's what I'm picking up on. Let's see. What's brewing? <clears throat> yeah, they know they fucked up. I'm getting this Libra know they fucked up. Or whoever these people are. It's a group. Third party group. Or third party. Whoever this person is. They know they fucked up. They know what time it is. And I'm getting you happy with that information, Virgo. Something like you're falling apart. Look. Mm, 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 mm. Running away. Investigating. And then you got sexual protection. Betrayal. 
there was some type of betrayal here. Watching shit go down, caught up, promiscuous. Somebody promiscuous, what is it, promiscuous? <laughs> Promiscuity. So what I'm picking up here, Virgo, is someone was being real promiscuous and they got caught up with this shit. That's what it was. I feel someone took action uh, towards your blessing. Someone could have convinced someone to be promiscuous. Someone could have convinced someone to, to cheat on you, to go against you if this is at work. They're convincing someone to go against you or go after you. You could be wondering what's going on. They're convincing this person to do this, but this person knows they fucked up. Yeah. Someone's torn apart or they're falling apart. I'm getting they can't even keep it together. I feel this person is always falling apart. This person could have blonde hair. Or someone could wear like synthetic. Someone could wear weave. Um, not weaves. Um, what is that? I'm getting like some type of actress hair or like some hair that's not real. Like, um, like you know how like actress, like a, uh, like a studio wig. <laughs> Like a studio wig or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you know the T. You already know the T. Stay grounded. Aligning yourself with the universe. And you have protecting yourself and caution. I feel you need to proceed with caution with these people or this situation here. Or these people may need to do this with you. Something about their spying. I'm getting they spy recklessly. I'm getting dummy accounts. <laughs> Something about dummy accounts here. Where someone's a fucking dummy, literally. Someone could be making a dummy for Halloween. Something something like that. You could be doing something with children surrounding dummies on Halloween. Or someone's a literal fucking dummy. <laughs> this is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box. We all can book a personal reading. And I'll talk to you later, Virgo. Take care.